the laws of FLIRF are absolutely uncontested. There have there has never been a single instance of any of the laws of FLIRF being violated, but maybe, maybe one of them will be violated, specifically the second law of FLIRF, which reads that FLIRF challenges are fake, no exceptions, but there may be an exception. Back in December, Jack Cushman Herrer um, issued a challenge to people to go to Lake Tahoe and go from shore to shore, which he said was more than 17 miles apart, but he, he chose docks in the late, uh, since then that are 19 miles apart. He says that nobody can will take his bet. He doesn't think anybody will, but he said he puts up, he wants to put up $5,000 to, to bet and a P1000 camera, which I already have, but I wouldn't mind having two, I suppose, to, to bet whether or not uh, you can see from one dock on one side of the of Lake Tahoe to a dock on the other side of Lake Tahoe to zoom in using a P1000 and see the other person standing on the dock. Well, it started out as just one time, and then he he's he said, "Well, we're going to do a morning, noon, and night, you know, an afternoon." I'm like, "Whoa, does the does the curve change? <laughs> Is it flat one time and curved another time in your head?" No, no, no. He had to talk about refraction, and uh, he thinks that refraction causes uh, the opposite of what it actually causes. <laughs> um, anyway, he really thinks that um, he can see; he'll be able to see me across across the lake. So I said, "Yeah, let's do it." And I already have 0.4 Bitcoin in escrow, which today is around, I don't know, $27,000, $28,000. But that wasn't good enough for him. Uh, well, he just kind of sat around and didn't do anything. He complained that he was banned on Facebook for 21 days. And then for it, it turned into two months. I don't know how. Uh, but I kept telling him, that doesn't stop you from putting your money in escrow or writing up the actual contract. Well, once he somehow magically got unbanned, he put a video of himself with $5,000 cash. Well, we saw his hand and maybe his voice. We don't know. Whatever. I said, well, fine. I already have my money in escrow. Tell me the name of the company that you want to hold the money and I'll just transfer the money there. He didn't want that. He wanted me to show a video of uh, the money that I had, the cash. Well, the money was already in escrow. By definition, I don't have it. Somebody else does. I don't have control of it. So I can't not honor rules. Somebody else has it and they're bound to honor those rules. Anyway, I'm like, it's an escrow. But you know what I can do? I can go to the bank and I can pull $5,000 out and I can put it on video. So that's what I did today. All right. Thank you. Did you want an envelope? No. There it is, $5,000, cash, taken straight from a bank. So I have the money, I have it in escrow. All that Jack needs to do now is specify the escrow company. He said it needs to be a titled escrow company. Super, he's gonna specify that, I will transfer the money, he will transfer the money, and then we will 
We'll figure out the specific details, but we have already determined and agreed on the, the main, the main parts of it. It will be from this particular dock called the uh, South Tahoe ramp gas pump dock there on the south side. And on the north side, it's the dock that's on speedboat beach, which is 19.56 miles apart. So he thinks that he will be able to zoom in to me with a P1000 that is, uh, he specifically linked me this video showing how good he expects it to be. The video and audio that you're watching right now is being filmed from 12.4 miles away or about 20,000 meters, which makes this the longest furthest recorded video ever. I can only dearly hope that I'm actually standing in the right place to have myself filmed in. And he wants to do now two in the morning, two afternoon and two, uh, two midday, two evening. Um, one from the south side with the P1000 and one from the north side with the P1000. I don't know why, but he suggested that I needed to bring a P1000 and be the one from the north side viewing to the south. I don't know. I mean, I have I have a P1000. Thank you, Stringer News One. Um, and it it I'll do it. But I, is he going to trust me when I say? I couldn't find it. So I think Jack will definitely need to have one of his people there on the dock next to me with with my P1000 if he wants um, to to look at it. So anyway, I'm looking forward to this. The question is, will he put his money in escrow? Will he clearly define the acceptance criteria? Will he give the the escrow holder those very particular instructions? All good questions to ask. If he does, then it could potentially violate the second law of flurf. And we will have to take the second law of flurf down from its perch uh, upon, upon the laws of flurf that have never been violated. So I look forward, Jack, to you putting your money in escrow, specifying the title company, writing out the rules so that I can fly to Lake Tahoe and have a nice uh, nice weekend there and then come home five thousand dollars richer if you are interested in joining me there if you're in the vicinity or just want to take a trip to uh to the area let me know uh i don't know when it's going to be it depends a lot on jack and of course everybody has their own personal uh, schedules to deal with so uh, we can all be flexible there anyway thanks a lot we'll <laughs> make sure you subscribe so you can find out the uh, results of this uh, interesting tale.